guys, welcome to STS Presents. I just uh, finished a run and I'm here with uh, sports rehab specialist Beth Rothwell. She's going to help me uh, with some of my issues that I'm dealing with and today we want to talk about IT band syndrome. So this is a crucial injury that happens to triathletes often. It's a very typical triathlon injury and it can be frustrating like any, any injury and we want to show you what you can do to prevent it, what you can do once, once you have it just the basic upkeep of it to, to make sure it doesn't happen again. So, um, Beth, let's let's do some uh, let's do some magic here. So, I was feeling the pain going downhill. Uh, is that pretty typical of the IT band, Beth? Yeah, it is, and you do start to feel it on the outside of your knee around here, and it can also start to come around the back. So, uh, your IT band actually starts up in your hip, um, and it runs down the outside of your leg and connects around the front, but because it crosses so many structures in your knee, that's when it starts to affect and give you right. pain. Right, so the pain is actually coming from like the band going up and down on the knee. It's almost, yeah, it's almost like, it's called IT band friction syndrome, right. so it does rub against other structures as it's coming round to attach to the bone point in the front of your knee. Right, right, right. Makes sense with uh, doing all the cycling and running that we triathletes do. Uh, that band is probably doing a lot of friction at the, with the kind of yeah. motions that we're doing in our sport, repetitive. Yeah, um, so the band also helps you bend your knee, um, but it is very common to feel the pain around this area here. Um, generally, if I keep your hips neutral, lift your leg up and gently drop it down, you should start to feel that pain be reproduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. So that's one of the tests that's commonly done just to test for for IT for, band. Yeah. Um, so generally for treatment wise, you usually start off with gentle massage just to loosen the areas. Uh, she starts to compensate where obviously on the other side from the pain. Um, so it's good to start off to loosen anti lactic acid. Um, and then once we've gone from there, we go into some exercises and work out obviously where looks is strong. Uh, where his weaknesses are and what we can improve on. Um, usually to start off with test glute strength, because it comes from your hip, it's important to keep all the structures around your hip strong, especially in uh, endurance athletes, um, where it's so important to use your legs. Uh, so we've tested Lucas's glutes, um, and due to his, the nature of his injury, it's quite important to keep them strong. Uh, so an exercise we're gonna give him is called a clam. So if you could bend your knees for me, that's it. Yep. Keep your hips in line, and all you're going to do is keep your ankles together and just open your knee, squeeze your glutes at the top, and back down. You can see when Lucas did that one, he started to over-rotate his hip, so we brought it out here. Yeah, yep. so I'm just going to resist you. And up. Whoa, she is strong. <laughs> she is strong. Stop cheating. <laughs> uh. Stay there. Right. So I'll tell you to stop. There. And then back down. <laughs> so squeeze at the top and relax it down. This can also be done against the wall, um, so then you're stopping your hip from rotating. And or Lucas, if you put your this hand on your hip, yeah, you to the point where you can feel your hip rotating. Yeah, and back yeah, down. I can feel it. And it's important to do both sides because obviously you don't want to neglect, neglect one side. Right. So this is just strengthening. Uh, you know, strengthening the glute area, which yeah. will in turn alleviate some of that IT band pressure or something. Yeah, um, it can make it harder as well, so if that's too easy for you. Yeah. If you lift your heels up, both yeah. of them, to there, and then same movement. Right. And then back down. And bring it right. all the way back down. Keep your ankles together. Right. Yeah, I can feel it. And relax it. So you can add some like a theraband around your knees just to make that a little bit harder, really work your glutes. Um, another one we can do is if you lie onto your back for me, don't fall off. Yep. Bring your feet to your bum. Legs a little bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze. <Yes, ma 'am. laughs> Squeeze your core. Uh -huh. And then bridge yourself up. And then back down. Mm -hmm. And keep going. How many of these do I do? Do ten for me. Alright. Four. Five. Keep 
squeeze in your core. Six. Are you feeling it? Seven. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my uh, hamstrings and my glutes. Okay. So if you're feeling it in your hamstrings, yeah. your feet are too far out. Okay, near so you need closer. to be a bit close to your butt. Yeah. yeah, so that you'll feel it slightly more into your butt. But you've got to really squeeze your core so your back doesn't kick in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel it. Okay, got 10 now. Okay, so obviously you, you were um, feeling your hamstrings earlier. So another one you can do to have your hamstrings is take your feet even further out right. than they were. So. And then okay. if you bridge it from there, you'll start to feel that in your hamstrings. You yeah. can also do that on a gym ball. Yeah. And take your knees out and in. Um, you basically want to work everything. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the stronger you are up here, generally the stronger you are further down. Right. Um, and a nice stretch you can do if you jump up for me. Yeah. So if you rest on something, mm -hmm. table, chair, anything, stand on one leg, and the effective leg is the one that's going to go back. So yeah, you're going to so slide it under. Yeah. You should feel the stretch. Yeah. Is this good? It? Is this good, Beth? Yeah, can you feel it? Yeah, I can feel it. Good. And stand yourself back up. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. So, are you saying? So, my question is: Is I just got this injury? So, do I need to do these these prescribed exercises immediately, or is there like a couple of days where you just don't do anything? Um, these exercises sh shouldn't aggravate it too much. Uh, generally, pain scale, so 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt. Around about 3, if it's any more than a 3, don't do it. Um, right. So up to about 3 is okay. Um, when you're first in initial stages of it, icing it. Mm -hmm. uh, don't give yourself an ice burn. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, just icing it for a little bit, just to just get the information, the information down. Yeah. Um, rest it the best of the day and then you start off with the exercises. They do seem like quite easy and remedial, which might be a bit frustrating. No, but it's it's like, yeah. it's good. They're good exercises. It's, it's not like, you know, it's logical. It, yeah. hits, it hits it there, you're stretching it out. And um, how long do you usually see athletes recovering from an injury like this? Like, I felt, I felt a sharp pain. What I did was I was using bike shoes that were too, they were making me push on my toes. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel anything really happening then. It was just an awkward movement. But then the next day, I, I tried to do a track session, and then all of a sudden, I just felt this sharp pain in the side of my knee, and it caused me to stop running. So, do you think how long do you think it would take me to recover from this? Um, because you've come straight away. Uh, generally about six weeks ish. Mm. Um, which again, quite early. <laughs> it can be around four to six weeks. It depends how painful it is to start with how much you got rid of um, I thought so how that, strong you are originally to start with to, yeah. that, that is so typical because I've had some other injuries where I felt sharp pain and uh, those took six weeks as well that's kind of seems to be like a guy mm -hmm. like when you feel some sharp pain you've done you've overdone it again it's a very common injury for triathletes because uh, of the cycling and running and then the, the issues of pointing their toes and swimming kind of aggravates it as well I know that you ladies that wear high heels and stuff, and if you're trying to do triathlon training, that can also kind of put that IT band over the edge. So just take good care of it. Would you say, Beth, uh, just like say we're at the office, if we have an office job, uh, it's a little bit hard on it to just be sitting at a desk all the time with bent legs, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because it gets quite stiff, so generally trying to move as often as you can, even if you just walk to get a drink or something and come back. Yeah, um, that helps, doesn't it? Just yeah, every just because your wheels can start to stiffen up. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not good to be in that seated crunch position, is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not the best. We can prevent this injury by what, just stretching a lot or? Uh, strengthening the areas, so. Glute yeah. work. Glute yeah. work's quite important, yeah. yeah. Um, quads, hamstrings, everything that's in your legs, really. Uh, just to just prevent by keeping it strong, yeah. Don't use equipment. Yeah, don't use equipment like I did. Don't use the wrong kind of. Uh, if you feel like you're making a awkward motion, then uh, that's probably a problem. Don't think that it's going to be okay. Uh, listen to the body. So uh, with STS presents, I'm Lucas Siska and Beth Rothwell, and uh, we'll see you next time.